Hey guys, what's up? This is Peter James. Welcome back to another video. Apple announced and released the new M2 MacBook Air. Yes, finally! Apple updated the design of the Air with a larger display with a notch, MagSafe charging, and of course, the new M2 SoC, but with $200 more compared to the previous M1. Surprisingly, M1 MacBook Air is still being sold, and it is still the same price of $999 or 899 on Amazon or Apple Education site. Most people are torn which MacBook Air to buy, the M1 or the M2. If you're one of those people, stick to this video and I will tell you why M1 is enough. For me, it is still worth to consider buying the M1 MacBook Air instead of the newer M2. Seems illogical, right? But here are the 4 things why I choose M1 over M2 MacBook Air. Let's start! Number 1. M1 MacBook Air base model is much much faster than the M2. That's right, M1 is faster than the M2, at least on the SSD drive speed for the base model. Hmm, this is quite controversial. The M2 MacBook Air base model is the same as the M1 MacBook Air. 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, but M2 storage is actually slower. M2 only have one NAND chip with the size of 256GB, while the M1 uses two NAND chips with 128GB each. This results in two M1 SSD to be twice as fast. M1 can split the data into the two chips. This means double the bandwidth. Reviewers like MaxTech discovered this while tearing down the M2 MacBook Pro and the M2 MacBook Air. I will link their video and the channel on the description below if you want to see it. They are a great channel. This is unacceptable since this is quite a downgrade. Not quite actually, but a significant downgrade. Apps starts to load slower if you use all the 8 gigs of memory. When the system starts to use the SSD as a RAM swap. For example, when running multiple tabs on Chrome, then also running heavy apps like video or photo editing software. Number 2. M1 chip is powerful. Last year, I purchased my M1 MacBook Air. I use it as my companion when I'm traveling. Using it for light tasks such as web browsing, script writing, photo editing, and all creative stuff. Since I have already the M1 Mac Mini with 16GB of RAM for my video editing needs. By the way, I will also drop a review for the M1 Mac Mini, the cheapest but powerful Mac Mini to date. But little did I know, this cheapest M1 MacBook Air can also edit 4K videos on the go. M1 is so good. Transitioning from Intel, this is so 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 fast. You don't need the M2 because this is fast enough for creative workloads like mine. Whatever you throw at it, like web browsing, photo editing, video editing, this guy is a beast. Yeah, sure, on benchmarks, M2 is slightly faster on CPU scores. But in real life usage, for most people, M1 is more than enough. Number 3. M1 is cooler. Yes, as in M1 is literally cooler. Using this M1 for several months now, I did not encounter any problem regarding heat. I use it on my lap while web browsing and light stuff, it doesn't get hot. Mind you, M1 MacBook Air does not have any fan. It is passively cooled. When I'm editing video on my M1 MacBook Air, it doesn't get super hot. It is quite comfortable to use. My previous video before this was edited from start to finish using this M1 MacBook Air. M2 on the other hand, have a higher temperature than the M1 when in full load, but it is still cooler than its Intel counterpart. Trade-off for higher CPU speed is increasing heat, but it's still bearable. Number 4. This is quite an important consideration. M1 is much much cheaper than the M2. M2 starts at $1300 for the base model, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. M1, on the other hand, is $200 cheaper, $999 for the same storage and RAM. But you can have it $100 more cheaper on Amazon or Apple Education Store, so $899. Sure, 
M2 has its advantages. It has a MagSafe charging, so you can fully utilize the two USB-C Thunderbolt port. M2 has a faster GPU than the M1, advantages for gaming. But who does game on Mac anyway? M2 MacBook Air has a new design, increased the display from 13.3 to 13.6, but with a notch. The M2 has an upgraded webcam with 1080p resolution instead of disappointing 720p from the N1 version. As a conclusion, M1 is more than enough for me. As a content creator, most of my workflow is considered quite heavy compared to the 90% of the people. So for almost everyone else, M1 MacBook Air is still a no-brainer at a base price of $999 or $899. I can still recommend it to everyone with no doubts. If you own an M1 already, upgrade is not necessary. But nothing can stop you if you want to buy or upgrade to the M2 if money is not an issue. I also suggest if you want more storage, buy an external SSD instead of upgrading your Mac to have a more storage. Upgrade to the 512GB version is quite expensive. At $200 more. You can buy a 1TB external SSD for that price. I have a video about external SSD, just click here. Like this video if you like it, click my head to subscribe and follow me for more videos like this. Thank you guys, see you in the next video, bye.